We are in Taylorsville at the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation offices, and I'm joined by two great folks talking about some fantastic grants that have been awarded to Alexander County. I'm with Connie Kincaid, and you are with the Economic Development Corporation. We remember you from your Catawba County days. Uh, how are things going for you here in Alexander County? It wonderful. We have so many wonderful opportunities and are fortunate that we have a very strong partnership with the Duke Energy Foundation. And speaking of that, Robin Nicholson with Duke Energy, tell us what you do for them. I'm the Government Community Relations District Manager serving six counties of which Alexander is one. Okay, so some grants have been awarded to Alexander County and Connie, I'll let you get started on this part of it. Uh, tell us how you came to learn about these grants and then the application process. Our partnership with the Duke Energy Foundation has enabled Alexander County Economic Development Corporation to assist our businesses and industry in innovative solutions to their post-pandemic challenges. Um, and we are very fortunate to have our partnership with Duke Energy. All right, Robin, these grants, now these go to small businesses and also child care development centers. Is this something that Duke Energy has been doing for a while, or is this a relatively new program? We've done this for the last several years. It all started, as Connie said, following the COVID pandemic that uh, we all experienced. And we saw it as a way to revitalize some of our small hometowns and to also help our small businesses grow and thrive in our communities. And one of the one of the I guess the tie-ins is that in some cases folks have to leave the workforce to take care of children. So these two things work together, don't they? Absolutely. And when uh, Connie and folks in Alexander County talked to me originally about this grant and proposed the child care piece, I really liked it. And when uh, that went before the foundation board, they saw that as a very compelling part of this grant and helped to push it up to one of the higher levels. So now I, I know you probably can't get into all the details in the time we have, but uh, I guess you've already allocated the grants for the county, correct? Correct. There were 10 businesses who received the grants. These grants ranged from $500 to $5,000 each. Um, the ones for businesses were more for the expansion or renovation of their existing properties or um, to purchase business equipment. With the child development centers, it is more toward expanding capacity in order to be able to take more children and accommodate them in a way that is a more learning environment and do that in order for both parents to return to the workforce so that our industries and small businesses maintain their workforce retention. So the recipients have been chosen, the money is in the process of getting to them, correct? Yes, they, they have been awarded with the grants, now they need to do the projects, mm -hmm. and then once they have satisfactorily done the projects, then we'll distribute the grants to them. <laughs> Well, thank you both so much for joining me. This is uh, Connie Kincaid, of course, from Alexander County Economic Development Corporation, Robin Nicholson from Duke Energy, joining us this evening here on WHKY News.